Vogue, beauty's where you find it. Hey you guys, it's Peter and I'm back. You guys are like, what just happened? I said, Vogue, beauty's where you find it. Hey you guys, it's Peter and I'm back. Of course I'm back. Sitting out of here on the front porch, the windy front porch and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. Boost. Peekaboo, I see you because I almost lost my fan. I'm YouTube famous now. Available summer 2023, the album. Dad, shimmy shimmy, AF, Vogue. <laughs> Greta Garbo and Monroe, Dietrich and DiMaggio, Marlon Brando, Jimmy Dean, on the cover of a Peter Zine. J Grace Kelly, Harlow Jean, picture of a beauty queen. Jean Kelly, Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers, dance on air. They had style, they had grace. Rita Hayworth, gave good face. Lauren, Catherine, Lana too. Betty Davis, we love you. Ladies with an attitude. Ah, I got it wrong! Oh my god, well, how's it go? Ladies with an attitude. Fellas that were in the mood. Don't just stand there, let's get to it. Strike a pose, there's nothing to it. Vogue. <laughs> well, I got part of it right. I got part of it right. How are you guys doing today? Listen, listen, Linda. Listen, Linda, okay? I got up very early this morning. Very, I got up very early this morning. I went to bed. I was asleep by 11.30 last night, okay? I was planning on staying up late and watching all my shows and stuff like that, but I was like, you know what? Maybe you should get a good night's sleep just once. <laughs> so I went to bed last night with my husband. I was asleep by 11.30. I got a good night's sleep. I didn't wake up. I don't think I woke up. I don't remember waking up. <laughs> Ladies with an attitude, Vogue. Fellas that were in the mood, don't just stand there. Let's get to it. Strike pose. There's nothing to it. Vogue. Anyway, um, can you see I'm in a really good mood? They're like, what is going on? Peter has so much energy. Yes, this is what happens when Peter gets a well-deserved sleep. Like, I work my ass off. Did you guys ever watch that show back in the day? Hey, Paula. The Paula Abdul reality show. Oh, my God. I lived for that show. Okay, I lived for that show. And the part where she's complaining that people are saying that she doesn't work very hard. She goes, I work my ass ass off. I work my ass off. I love that part so much. Anyway, um, hi, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I got a very good night's sleep last night. I was out here on the front porch very, very early. I've had a couple of my neighbors already visit me. One came up here and sat. She said, can I sit in that chair? I said, well, sure. You can call. You can come up here. Don't call me Shirley, but you can come up and sit on my front porch. And we gossiped about the HOA and all this kind of stuff. I've had such a good morning so far. So anyway, um, I was getting ready for this video and I was listening to some music and Vogue by Madonna came on. I used to love this song so much back in the day. We like took it very seriously back in the clubs in the day. I mean, we were like, we thought, listen, we thought we were in that movie Paris is Burning and we weren't. But anyway, but we took the voguing very seriously. Okay, very seriously took the voguing very seriously back in the day. But anyway, um, so I was listening to this song and I was getting ready and I had just, this, so this video, if you don't know, is about Toddy Westbrook's huge life update. Okay, of which, hold on a second, her video is called, I have it pulled up right here. Her video is called Life Update, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> that means, I, I do a lot of those dot, dot, dots. Like, we need to talk, dot, 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 or this is very serious, dot, dot, dot. And that means, ooh, ah, oh my lord, oh my god, what's going to be in this video? Glamour shots. Now, that's, we'll say glamour shots for a Jaclyn Hill video, because that was her dream, to own a glamour shots. Oh, bless her heart, that sweet thing. It was her dream to own a store where you could get glammed up in makeup, and then they'd also have clothes there, and then there'd be a photographer in the back that would take your pictures. That, bless her heart, sweet thing. She didn't know that that was a glamour shot, and it had existed in 1985, and all the grandmas would go there and take their grandbabies and have feather boas. And she didn't know about glamour shots, bless her heart. She thought she came up with an original idea. Jaclyn Hill has never had an original idea. Anyway, but this is not a video about Jaclyn Hill. This is a bit a video. <laughs> this is a video. This is a video is what it is. Not a video. This is, I've reinvented YouTube. This is no longer a, a video. This is a video, okay? And uh, this video is about Toddy Westbrook and her life updates, okay? That's called life update dot dot dot, which means, ooh, I wonder what Toddy Westbrook, because she got... 
lawsuit and stuff like that in the thumbnail, okay? So that makes everybody think she's gonna talk about the lawsuit. She don't. She don't talk about the lawsuit. She mentions the lawsuit, but she don't talk about it, okay? Uh, but I was sitting here as I was getting ready, and by getting ready, I mean like I, I trimmed my beard a little bit, and I shaved around here, and I brushed my teeth, and I picked out a t-shirt. That's called the Get Ready With Me With Peter for this video, for this world famous video. But anyway, so I was getting ready and I was thinking about it, you know, because I'd, I'd taken some notes in this Tati Westbrook video, because, you know, I watch a video and then I take some notes and things like that, right? And I was thinking, because, you know, I just have these random thoughts, like, literally 24 hours a day. Do you ever have, don't you hate that? Don't you hate when you're a human being and you just have random thoughts about most random things? I do! I hate that so much! I'm just like, leave my head! It's like when you get a song stuck in your head. Like, I'll have Vogue stuck in the head of my rest of my day. I'll be voguing around the house. Be Radley. He'll be voguing with me. We'll be voguing. Everybody will be voguing. Then my husband will come home and he'll be like, what is going on? And I'll be like, Vogue! Anyway, he won't get it. It doesn't matter. But anyway... Don't you hate that when you can't get, like, random thoughts out of your head and stuff like that, and you'd be thinking about random things? Some of my neighbors are walking down the street. Hey, how are you? It's not a pool day today. I know. It looks like it's going to rain. It does look like it's going to rain. What do you got in your purse? Mm -hmm. What do you have in your purse? Hmm? Your phone. Okay. Oh, your water. My sister. Oh, your sister. Well, have a nice walk, and I'll see you at the pool here in a couple days. I hope so, too. Anyway, I love my neighborhood so much. It's so much fun. Anyway, y'all think I'm lying about how I talk to my neighbors and stuff like that. She's my pool friend. I love her so much. But anyway, she's the one. Here, big secret of the HOA, okay? She's the one that a couple years ago, she brought up this huge cooler and she had all kinds of food and stuff like that. And she had watermelon and tahini. And my husband, she was like, do you want some of that? And I was like, oh, I'm not really hungry. And my husband was on that watermelon. And he loves tahini. He was on that watermelon tahini like nobody's business. We got home that day and he was like, you need to order some of that tahini. And I was like, okay. So I had to get some tahini so he could start having fruit and tahini. All because of her. It's all because of her fault in there. So anyway, but I love her so much. She's so sweet. I love my neighbors. But anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, that these random thoughts that you have going through your head. Don't you hate that? I hate that so much when you have these random thoughts going through your head. By the way, okay, at seven minutes and, I don't know, seven seconds or something like that, I'm making two videos today on this channel. And the second one is a shout out to all you OG Woof Packers over there that used to watch my videos way back in the day. Yeah, fences and all that, okay? I'm doing a magazine video for y'all. Now, I bought a magazine. Well, I bought two magazines. One on the way out to Arizona, and I bought one when I was in Mar uh, Arizona. I can't pronounce nothing today. Videos in Arizona. Um, I bought a magazine when I was out in Arizona because I thought I might do a magazine video with my girlfriends out there. We didn't end up doing that. And so I brought it all the way home, and I thought, well, I'm going to do a magazine video for y'all out there. Okay? Well, don't you think that'll be fun? Don't you? Because I know nobody will watch it. They'll all be, like, running over here to see what Tati's life update was, right? So I'm thinking about all this kind of stuff, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, I think it's rather odd. <laughs> I do. I think it's weird and strangely, okay, that my job is basically that I watch somebody's life update video, and then I do commentary on their life update video. Don't you think that's kind of strange? <laughs> Don't you think it's so weirdly that my job, like if somebody said to me, Peter, what's your job? Well... Uh, in my work description, I watch Toddy Westbrook's life update videos, and then I do com I take notes on it, and then I do commentary. They look at me like I was the weirdest person in the, the, the world, right? And I was thinking to myself, I do have kind of like a strange job in all reality. I really do. You know, I watch these videos, and I do commentary on them and things like that. That's a weird job. It kind of is. You know, like, let's just be, fr it's oddly, and it's strangely, and it's weirdly, you know? Let's just be for real about it, okay? It's weird. It's weird is what it is, Okay. Tati, if you're watching this, because she said out there some things that makes me think she watches a lot of videos about her. God bless you. Okay, bless your heart, Tati. But if you're watching this, hey, I admit it all day long. My job is weird, okay? I got a weird job that I make videos doing commentary on people's life updates. But, you know, I got to thinking, because those random thoughts, they wouldn't leave my head, you know, and I got to thinking, I thought, but you know what's weirder? That some of you out there are already laughing because you know where I'm going with this. But I was thinking to myself, no, in all seriousness, I was. Do you know what's weirder than the fact that I make videos commenting on people's life updates? Is that y'all are out there watching me comment on life updates. You're even weirder than I am. You are. You're weirdly. You are. You're so weird and strange and oddly. And that's okay. We can all be weird and strange over here together. It's fine, you know. It's just, it's, it's all the same effing day like, you know, Janis Joplin said back in the day. And anyway, and, and, and we're all weird, aren't we? I think we're all just kind of weird and different and things like that. And that's okay. Be, be, your, be too much, like I always say. Be too much. Be your own weird self. Shout 
shout out your neighbors, flip a fan if you want. Hey, listen, we're a Whitney Houston cartoon teacher. It don't matter. Sing Vogue around your house and have your dog Vogue with you. Listen. We, listen, life is not a dress rehearsal, okay? My friend reminded me that of that saying from uh, Auntie Mame, one of my favorite <laughs> movies of life with Rosalind Russell. I love that movie so much. And she says life is not a dress rehearsal, and it's true, okay? Live your life, okay? In my life, I choose to spend being weirdly and doing commentary on people's life updates. But I just had to mention that because it was kind of going through my head. So now that we have done the intro and we're at the 10 minute and 24 second mark. Oh, you want to know something else that's weirdly? So there was this channel out there, and their channel was called Peter Mon Timestamp Channel, okay? And I called them out in a video not too long ago. I said, I feel so bad. And my apology, you know, my long apology that I did, my, my funny ha-ha apologies, I made an apology to the Peter Mon uh, Timestamp Channel, and I said, I'm so sorry that you had to invent a channel where you had to timestamp all of my videos. Like, I feel really bad that you had to take out the time in your day to watch my videos and timestamp them and stuff. Like, I mean, I thought I had a weird job, okay? I mean, I did. I thought I had a weird job, you know, like commenting on people's live updates and things. My lord, I can't imagine if my job was having to go to video to video to video to, to like, timestamp them. Like, my god, you want to talk about... That's worse than working at the BMV. And if you work at the BMV, like, I, I listen, I genuinely apologize, okay? Not for making fun of you, but for your job. Because that is one hell of a job. I would not want that, okay? People talk about how those people that work at the BMV are bitter as hell. Hey, I'd be bitter as hell, too, if I worked at the BMV, okay? Ain't nobody nice. They're all nasty. And they're just, we're all of us rude when we get to the BMV because none of us want to be there. Not even the people that work there, you know? There's 15 people that work at the BMV, and one of them goes on break every six hours to go to the bathroom for two seconds, right? And we all go, oh, seriously, you have to take a break? I mean, what if that was your job? So I apologize to y'all out there that work at the BMV and the post office and things like that. Listen, you stand on your feet. You have hellacious jobs, okay? I feel bad for you. I do. Anyway, here's another one of my neighbors walking his dog, but I don't know him. He's real friendly. He is. He's real friendly. He's got a beautiful dog. Um... I asked him one time what it was. I said, is that an Alsatian? Because remember those dogs in England back in the day? I think they're called Alsatians or something like that. That's what I thought it was. But he said, no, he got he got kind of rude with me. He was like, don't you, like, like I should know every dog breed in the entire world. Don't you hate that? When you say to somebody, oh, is that a pug? And they go, oh, no, that's a Australian mini beagle. And you're supposed to like, no, like every, like, do y'all know every breed in the world? I know cats are aliens. I know that. Don't come for me, okay? Because one day you will find out, okay? When you're laying in your bed with all your kitty cats and they're coming over here and they're doing like zoom zooms over you and stuff like that, taking your coding of your DNA. Trust, you'll know that cats are DNA. They're, they're, cats are taking your DNA because cats are alien. They're going up to the mothership and they're cloning you is what they're doing. Anyway, the way that they dump their information is they dump it in the litter box, okay? Trust, y'all think I'm stupid. Listen, conspiracy speculation of the world. So anyway, what was I saying? Have we even got to Toddy's video yet? <laughs> oh, the timestamp channel. Oh, so Peter's timestamp channel, okay? The Peter Mon's timestamp channel. You know, ever since I made that joke about him, I called him out, they ain't timestamped not one video. I hope I didn't break their heart. I hope I did Listen, keep on timestamping my videos. I'm sure there's some people out there that enjoy it. But I'm sorry if I took your job away from you. I don't want nobody to lose their job off of me. I don't. Now listen, okay? I ain't your boss. I never told, I like, I never invented that job. I didn't tell you to start that channel. But listen, if you feel the need to keep on timestamping my videos, feel free. There's a lot of people out there that didn't start their channel and call it the Peter Mon timestamp channel, but trust, they feel it's their job to timestamp my videos. Now, just to save you some trouble, okay, my videos do start at 0.00, .00 just so you know, okay, but you can feel free to timestamp my videos all you want. If y'all bitter Susans out there come over here and all you are coming to my channel for is just to hear me talk about Toddy Westbrook in the commentary of her boring ass life update video, then th the reality is that you have not realized yet that life is just, is not a dress rehearsal, okay, because this, all this kind of stuff over here, this is really the meat and potatoes of my video. The Toddy stuff, that's just an excuse to make a video. That's the truth of the nature all day long. Okay, so let's get into this Toddy Westbrook video. So, Toddy Westbrook did this video and it's called Life Update. She posted it five days ago. It's sitting at 3,000 views. Now, I've got a bunch of notes for it. Okay, so get ready with me. Surprise! Do makeup artists know how to do life updates without doing get ready's with me? I, I'm just asking, okay? Like, I mean, I love a good get ready with me. Don't worry about it. But, like, are they so nervous to sit on camera without doing makeup that they don't know how to do a, a life update without doing makeup? I'm confused. Okay, or unless they have some legal papers to read. Who did I say that? Am I allowed to say that? Well, oh, Toddy, she retracted that video, didn't she? 
Does that video even still exist anymore? Like that, okay, and I have to say this before I get in this video. So, in the last couple years, I've kind of fallen out of love with Miss Tati a little bit, in all, in all honesty, because I feel like Tati started a, a war that she didn't want to be in no more, okay? She started this war with James Charles, then kind of blamed it on Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson, which, which, listen, a lot of people brought to my attention. They said, didn't nobody force Miss Tati's hand to make that video. I 100% agree with you, okay? Didn't nobody force Tati to make that video. Tati made that video because Tati wanted to make that video, okay? Now, I don't know what, we listen, we lived for that video on the internet. Don't act like you didn't, okay? You ate that drama up. If you're watching this video, then you ate that drama up at the time, okay? Don't act like you didn't. Don't go stick your head in the hand and go, oh no, no, I, I, I'm a nun, and uh, apologies to nuns, okay, but I'm a nun, and I don't watch drama, you're watching a drama channel right now, okay, you ate drama up, just admit to it like the rest of us, we lived for it, we loved watching all the drama at that time, right, okay, but she started a war she didn't want to be in anymore, okay, and I get that, and I understand that, trust me, in my personal life, I've started some wars I didn't want to be in, okay, Hell, I don't want to be in nobody's war anymore, okay? I don't care about the battle. I don't care about the war. I don't care about, I don't care about the scrimmage. I don't care about none of it, okay? I don't want to war with nobody. I don't want to fight with nobody. I don't want to just stay over here in my lane and do my thing, trust? I get it, okay? I get Miss Tati, okay? But she started all that, and then she took statements back, and I don't know. Just all of it was a real mess, okay? But she didn't have no problem, you know, coming out and blaming kind of Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star for it. She sure didn't have no problem having Shane Dawson sell all that toddy pills for her, you know, left and right. Kind of like, I think she was kind of bitter probably because James Charles, well, I mean, you know, he took the better deal, right? This is why it kills me when uh, this has gotten, this is like those random thoughts in my head I was talking about. That's really all my videos are. Let me pull y'all in a little closer here. Okay. But, you know, like, it kills me that Manny pushes so hard to endorse this junk paint that James Charles came out with and act like it's the best makeup in the entire world, which we know it's not. Okay, come on, Manny. You want to call it a brutally honest review? You're a liar. You're a liar, Manny. That's what you are. That's why don't nobody respect you anymore, okay? You're a liar. People were posting comments on my video yesterday that I did about him saying, well, he came out and he did this whole review of Morphe this, he did this whole review of that, and the whole review is all like, well, this doesn't work, and that doesn't work, and this doesn't work, but oh, I love this. At the end of it, it's great. It's the greatest thing in the entire world. Girl, you're a liar. You're a liar, Manny, okay? You're a clout. You, you feed off other people's clout, and you're a liar, okay? Trust. That's all you are. And in all honesty, let's just call it for what it is. If Manny hadn't been one of the first beauty boys or men that were doing makeup with a beard, he probably still wouldn't be around, okay? Truth be told, that's just a lot of what got Manny on, on in the playing field to begin with, okay? He's not really that good at makeup. Don't nobody really care. And every time anybody puts him on a show or anything like that or he gets some expose or whatever, they always say, one of the first men doing makeup on YouTube. So if it wasn't for that... Nobody really care about Manny. And I'm sorry, but that's just the truth, you know, all day long. Somebody said something to me, and I was going to make a whole video addressing this today. They said something about, well, I love Manny, and I love you, too. Well, girl, I love you, too. Okay, thank you. You love who you want to love. You know, if you want to love a, a predator protector, love him. Love him all day long. Okay? And I'm going to make a whole video about that trust. I am. Okay? Because I am so tired of people saying, you're asking too much of these people to distance themselves from uh, their friends. Oh, you mean predators. You, you think it's too much to say that I don't want to put money in the pocket of somebody that's a predator? Okay. Maybe you need to rethink your allegiance to these people. Maybe it's you that's misguided, not me, okay? Because I think that it's pretty normal to think that you don't want to put money in somebody that supports and endorses a predator. Like, let's just put it in perspective, okay? If this was your school principal, and uh, would you be uh, doing a bakery, uh, a bake sales and things for your school principal, if they have those same allegations, oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Uh, but I'm not allowed to say that Manny MUA, Patrick Starr, Laura Leach, and all these other people shouldn't be going over to uh, uh, James Charles' launch and putting money in his pocket by doing these endorsements when he's a self-proclaimed predator. Maybe you all need to check out what your fandom's about, okay? And why you've got such undying fandom for these people. I appreciate you saying that you love me, okay? That's very nice. But that doesn't take away from the fact that you endorse somebody that endorses a predator, okay? And I take issue with that. I don't know why you don't. 
That's the bigger question. Why can you just stand by and think that this is okay? That's weirdly to me. I ain't got no problem admitting that what I do for a living is weird. Can you admit that you following these people and fully supporting them when they support predators? If that happened in your neighborhood or your family or your kid's school, are you telling me you wouldn't have an issue with that, but you excuse it away when it's somebody that you are a fan of? Okay. Well, don't ask me then why these people have careers three years later. It's because of those people. It's because of those people that continue to fan them that they have careers. But anyway, this video is about Toddy Westbrook. I ain't talking about Manny MUA. Ugh, 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 ugh. So over talking about Manny MUA and Daniel Prada and that whole group of people over there, okay? That whole group of people. They're so problematic. They don't care. All they care about is the money, okay? What was I talking about? Oh, so anyway, Toddy Westbrook. I don't, just scratch everything I was going to say, okay? Court reporter or whatever, take that off the docket. That's not part of the, the court case. Okay, so uh, Toddy Westbrook does this get ready with me life update. I got all these notes on it, okay? They're not very exciting, but there's a few things in there that she said that I like. Now, I have to tell you, in the last couple of years, this is what I was saying. I lost a lot of love for Toddy Westbrook. She put herself in the middle of all this madness. I didn't think she needed to do that, okay? But like I said, she didn't have no problem with Shane Dawson selling the hell out of those beauty pills of hers, okay, that she was pissed. Oh, that's how I got into all this, okay? Because she was pissed that James Charles took those Coachella VIP tickets from Sugar Bear Hair and wouldn't endorse her products instead, okay? Which is so interesting to me in retrospect. I mean, just a thought, you know, these random thoughts I'm talking about, just a thought. But the fact that he couldn't, why couldn't he endorse Sugar Bear Hair and Toddy's pills at the same time when people like uh, Jacqueline Hill and uh, all these people out there, they, uh, and I've proven it, they literally are doing two and three sponsorships, sponsorships and affiliate links in one video, which is a real big no-no, okay? But you couldn't have come out in one thing and, and endorse Sugar Bear Hair and then come out two days later and endorse your friend Toddy's pills. What it really says in retrospect was that James Charles never had any intention of endorsing Toddy's pills, okay? And I think she knew that. I think she knew that James wasn't going to do her no favors, which is why I got into this whole thing about Manny MUA kissing James Charles' ass and all these people out there like James Charles because they still think, oh, well, James has a big following. So even though he has a really bad reputation to that following that he does have that make excuses for James Charles, like just go look over at Manny's second TikTok yesterday and all these people saying, oh, people want James Charles' makeup to fail so bad. Ma James Charles' makeup is a fail. It's a stolen idea from 15 other companies, first of all, okay? And James Charles is a failure, period, okay? That hasn't taken any responsibility for his actions and is a self-proclaimed predator that is still allowed to have a platform because of these people. So, can you... That might be part of the reason why people want him to fail. I'm just speculating. What do I know? I'm just a commentary drama channel, T channel, you know? So anyway, but I don't know why all these people are so worried about James Charles endorsing them. He's never endorsed anybody else in the past. In fact, James Charles still pulls out that same palette and says it's the greatest palette. No, but you don't ever need any other palette. So anyway, Toddy, I lost a lot of love for her the last couple years, okay? Not to mention... That I kind of felt like she was afraid to say anything and afraid to kind of get back to the old Tati that I had fallen in love with before all this nonsense. And so I kind of thought that her, her videos were boring as snakes, to be honest with you. Like, you know, and it was interesting because she does all these videos about the fact of like dollar store makeup and uh, CVS makeup and drugstore makeup that's just as good as high quality makeup and things like that. And it was interesting because, um, you know, that's what Tati has kind of made her bank off of is doing all of these like dupes and things like that, right? When Mallory Brooke came out in her video where she's talking about Jacqueline Hill and she didn't mention Tati, I don't think, but she said in there, all of these people that come out and they, they do all this kind of stuff and she was like, and they act like, you know, this dollar store makeup or CVS makeup is just as good as these high-end products like Charlotte Tilbury. And she goes, that is absolutely not true as a makeup artist. And you know that as a makeup artist, right? And I thought that's interesting because Tati is always pushing these CVS products, right? And all this kind of stuff. So anyway, but I just kind of was bored with Tati over the years. I felt like, you know... She inserted herself into drama she didn't need to. And then I don't feel like she really dealt with it the way that it should have been in retrospect. I mean, it was at first she was dealing with it, but then she kind of retracted it. And I'm like, girl, seriously, you are way too grown to be playing with these children like this, okay? Like, either come out and make your stance and stick to it. Don't be doing all this kind of stuff because you're so afraid of what the... And it's real obvious in this video she's so afraid of what the internet's going to say about her. But anyway, now I will say this in watching this video... 
This is a video that I like of Tati's. I liked this video. This, to me, kind of reminded me of the old Tati Westbrook that I watched back in the day that I liked, right? Except for that she clickbaited the hell out of this video and made you think she's going to talk about a bunch of stuff that, like, lawsuits and things like that she didn't really talk about at all. But other than that, no, I liked this video. I thought this video was good. It was okay. I mean, it was still kind of... <laughs> Kind of bore a snake. I mean, sh could she push that Scott Barnes anymore? Could she push him anymore? You want to talk about collaborations that you have beat to death. I mean, that collaboration, girl. Find you a new friend. I'm not saying nothing about Scott Barnes. He seems very nice to me. I mean, he's a very nice guy, okay? His makeup must be fantastic because that's about all she uses anymore. But, I mean, seriously, sweetheart, okay? Like, you know, find you a new friend, okay? Find somebody else to do a collaboration with. That's probably why she was, you know, wanting to do collaborations with Jeffree Star. She was begging to be at those game nights and things like that. She needed some new friends because all she was doing was hanging out with Scott Barnes. Which maybe, I don't know, maybe Scott Barnes bore a snake too. <laughs> what did they do? Go go out and get, the, she's talking about getting her nails done, all this kind of stuff. She said something at one point in her video, she said she was going to take a picture of this nail polish that she got when she went to get her nails done. It was OPI and the nail polish color was called something like, it, it, it looks like almost Halloween or something like that. And she said something about, like, um, it, it made me feel like maybe I was in the wrong season or something. I'm misquoting her. I don't know what she said. And I thought, girl. Girl, don't you know? Vogue. Halloween is all every time of the year. Anyway, I love Halloween so much. So let's get in this. First of all, the first thing she did on the heels of me making this video, calling out how she did not disclose these affiliate links appropriately the other day. And I did say in my video that she always discloses sponsorships and stuff appropriately, okay? But now let me tell you what she did in this video. She went overboard. And I was like, oh damn, she watched my video. I know Tati Westbrook watched that video because I was the only one that made that video about those affiliate links because you know I ride hard for the affiliate links, okay? So I was the only one that made that video. So she must have watched my video, okay? Now, she done unfollowed me a long time ago. Probably because she thinks that I'm about the voodoo and the crystals and things like that. I'm not. I don't know why she thinks all that, okay? I got me a higher power just like hers. I didn't say mine was better or worse than hers. I just said I got a higher power just like hers. But listen, okay, she don't want none of that spirits or voodoos or psychics or none of that stuff. So don't be bringing that to her channel, okay? So anyway, but I did this whole video about her and the affiliate links and how she didn't disclose them, right? Well, let me just tell you. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. It's a nice day, isn't it? Kind of like fall. It is. I'm ready for Halloween. I got you. <laughs> so anyway, right underneath here, she puts underneath here. Okay, so first of all, the video is sponsored by Lily Silk, okay? So she puts this little thing on here about, hey guys, today is long overdue life update about some tough stuff, uh, family IVF upcoming trial, and oh yeah, I guess I'm a fashion blogger now. Lin links in description box, click below, click more to expand, XO's Tati. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, okay? I follow this, this FTC stuff, and I, saw, I follow these affiliate links closely. Unless I haven't watched a lot of uh, Toddy Westbrook videos lately, I should probably have gone through before I checked this. I, I, I mean, maybe I should just do this right now. Hold on a second. Let's see if she's got another video that, no, that's her prime. Okay, let's see if she's got another video that's sponsored. I don't even know. Hold on a second. Um, I want to see if she does all of her sponsorships like this. <laughs> I almost asked y'all, when is the last time that she did a sponsored video? Because I, I, I was like, does she got, no. I can't find a sponsor videos for her. But let me just tell you, okay? I was so blown away and impressed. So underneath here, she has that little thing. And then right underneath it, she has, are you ready for this? I have never seen this in anybody's video, period, end story, okay? It says, in all caps, FTC disclaimer. This video is proudly sponsored by Lily Silk. Please use promo code TOTTY15 to get 15% off. I'm like really impressed. Now, unless I am clueless to uh, Tati's videos, and this is how she does every sponsorship, let me, and if she does, then congrats to Tati. But I've looked at other videos of hers and I don't remember seeing that on there, so I don't know. But let me just tell you, this is the perf perfect, I was almost gonna say perfection. This is the perfect way to disclose. This is exactly accurate. She says it's a collaboration in her video and then she puts this underneath her. You don't even have to say FTC disclosure. She could have just said it was a sponsorship. She went above and beyond. I was so impressed with this. I was like, damn girl, okay. 
You are not running from this at all. And I think it is because a lot of people are coming out and talking about FTC disclosure and affiliate links now, and she's just trying to protect herself. And you know, the reality is, like, she looks so cute in these clothes that she was spon did a sponsorship with in their video. I mean, she really did. She looked cute. For years, I've always kind of been like, Tati reminds me of somebody, but I can't remember who she reminds me of. And I was sitting there, and I was watching her, and I was like, Tati kind of reminds me of, like, and I'm not saying, like, her age or anything like that, because I'm talking about, the, the like, Stephanie Seymour, those beautiful models and actresses from, like, the 80s, the late 80s. And she kind of reminds me of Kelly LeBlanc a little bit that I think was... It stopped. She kind of reminds me of Kelly LeBlanc a little bit that was like in Weird Science and like, I think she was in that. And the woman in red. And she's like tall and thin. And I mean, Tati is a gorgeous woman, you know? And these outfits that she picked were super cute. I really liked them. But anyway, I was so impressed with how she disclosed that sponsorship. So, all right, let's get into the rest of this. So, she goes in, she's talking about private things. Oh, she said in there she doesn't like to see thumbnails making the most awful faces of herself. Okay, you know, I just want to say this. I, um... If, if I were to put up, I just want this very, very clear, and you do what you want to do in your videos, okay? But, like, if I do a video that's something sad, I will pull a picture from somebody's thumbnail, like Colleen Ballinger of them crying or James Charles' apology and things like that. But I don't go through videos and try to find the most booger picture of somebody. I just don't, okay? Like, I can tell you today, since she said this, and I can tell that this is something that bothers her, I'm going to go to the end of the video, and I'm going to try to find her when she's full glammed up, and she looks very nice, and pick a picture from that, okay? I don't need to pick a picture. But if I'm going to make a video of somebody talking about how sadly their life is and things like that, yes, more people are going to watch that if somebody's crying. And I usually pull those thumbnails straight from somebody's picture, you know, or their video, I don't know why they're upset about it. Girl, it's in your own video. But I know what she's talking about. She's talking about when the Laura Lee apology. That Laura Lee is going to have to, forever, that picture is going to be thrown up, you know? Or that Jacqueline Hill picture that I always use where she's like, yes, girl, because that's a great picture. You know, it's your picture. You should be proud of it. Anyway, okay, she goes and she talks about not, and I don't want, I'm not going to get into this in depth because of what she says later in the video. But she goes in and she explains that she's not doing IVF and she's not going to do it for, and she's not doing it and they've chosen not to do it for private reasons. So the reason I believe that she addresses this in the video is because she says she gets a lot of messages about stuff, but she also, I mean, every time she puts up anything about questions or whatever, she always gets um, bombarded with people asking her questions about like kids and if she's pregnant, blah, blah, blah. People are constantly bombarding her. So I think that that's why she addressed it. She goes on to say that it's not time to start a family while getting ready to head into this trial. Okay, this trial that she's got with her ex-partner. And then she goes on to say, if someone has wronged you, it's good to know that the truth will be coming out. So apparently she, she knows that she's going to win this trial. I don't know how. I don't know how Miss Tati Hot Tata. Hot ta no, Tati, no. I almost said gargoyles and Ouija boards, but she don't like none of that voodoo directed her way. So I'll just say... In the good loving light of the precious Jesus Christ, no, Tati, no. <laughs> I know how she knows she's going to win this trial. She's going to see a psychic or something about that. Was she watching old Amphrodite's videos? I don't think he makes no videos about Tati Westbrook no more, but I don't know, maybe. Anyway, um, so she said she knows that if, if someone has wronged you, it's good to know that the truth will finally come out. And I think basically what she's saying is that she stands on the side of the truth. She knows that she did nothing wrong, blah, 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 and all that kind of stuff, okay? And then she goes on to say because the court stuff is going on that she kind of feels like she missed the train of having a child because it's been going on for, I think she says three years and eight months or three and a half years or something like that. And so she goes on that and then she says she's putting it all in God's hands, Okay. And that is the extent of what she says about the court trial. That, that's all she says really about the court trial is that basically explain that they're getting ready to head into trial and then the piece about knowing that you're going to be, you know, the truth is basically going to come out, whatever, you know, like whatever drama channel says or <laughs> all these YouTubers always say, the light always comes out and blah, 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 and all this kind of stuff. You know how they always say all that kind of stuff. Anyway, so basically Ty's truth is going to come out. But she said that she didn't want to get pregnant during this time because it was a really stressful time for her. Hey, listen, I get it. I totally understand. I can't even imagine, right? But then she goes on to say, please, and like messages to her and in the comment sections, please cease all conversations when it comes to babies. And so I want to say I respect that, even though she goes on later to talk about it a little bit at the end of the video, which I will reference at the end of this video, the part where she talks about it. But other than that, I'm going to ask, please do not comment about anything to do 
on her video uh, on this video about her pregnancy or IVF or any of that kind of stuff. I will tell you right now, okay? If I see it in the video, I will delete the comment. If I don't see it, there's nothing I can do about that. I, I typically read my comments from time to time, whatever. If I see it, I'm going to delete it. She's asked for all those conversations to see since she doesn't want attention to that. And I think that that is a really private situation. Um, I think y'all know I don't talk about kids on my channel and things like that. I've made that very, very clear. I'm going to respect that out of her. I'm just giving an update based on what she shared in the video. But other than that, I don't want any speculation. I don't want anything said in the video. Even if it's God love Toddy, I feel bad for her for what she, you know, whatever. I'm going to delete it because she's asked for no conversation or anything to do with that. And I think that that should be respected. Then she goes in and she talks about all the home renovations. They've had some problems with like leaking and things like that. She shows pictures of all that. Then she goes on and I loved this. She goes in and she, she talks a lot in the video about self-care and how she's working on herself. She goes on and she shows pictures of herself as a child and she says, kind of talking about how she like, like uh, does like a lot of negative talk with herself. Like, oh, you need Botox or oh, you need this. And she shows up these pictures of herself as a kid these two pictures of herself as a child, and she says that the reminders to herself, and I loved this. I was like, oh my God, this is such a good learning experience. Like, this is something I should think of. That no one would talk badly to those children, so she's not going to talk badly to herself that way. And I was like, oh my God, like, that is so great. I love that, right? So she had some teaching moments in her video, which I really, really loved. Then she talked about she talked about how she'd gone to therapy and therapy was great and it really helped her for self-reflection, self-work and things like that, but that she's really been working out a lot and working out has been more helpful to her recently than therapy and she talks a lot about that. But then she goes on and talks about that her biggest life update. She goes, now my biggest life update. And I'm like, what's she going to talk about, girl? What's she going to she gonna talk about her and Jeffree Star going to do a collab together, girl? <laughs> I'm worried she's gonna come out talking about her and James Charles or the Judy's again, girl. Grass, my pearl. What is, what is her big life update? I'm like this. Girl, she gonna keep her hair light through the fall. Y'all wonder why you ain't getting no views on your videos, girl. Your biggest... Now, it was kind of sarcastic, right? I get it, right? But I'm like, girl, where's your biggest life update? Girl! You coming out with new pearl, new pills, girl? Clutching my pearls and she's coming out with new pills. Girl! You have James Charles to your birthday dinner party next year. Girl, what's your big life update? Oh, you're going to keep your hair light through the fall. Okay, girl. I'll see you. So anyway, she talks about all that. Then she goes on this whole thing about I don't even know how she gets into it. I don't remember. <laughs> That's the truth. I don't, okay? But she goes on about Disneyland and she doesn't understand the obsession of people who go there all the time to Disney. She, she says she don't like Disneyland. She's a, I can't remember even how she gets into it. I, what is going on with my shirt? It's all twisted around. I'm sorry, Whitney. Whatever you want, but please don't twist me. I love Whitney Houston so much. Anyway, I think about getting me a couple more of these shirts. I got one in Madonna, but you know, People don't like Madonna today. They say she's so problematic and things like that. Listen. Listen, Linda. Okay, this is my stance on, on, on Madonna. Madonna is 97 years old, okay? She don't have 15 kids. She's put out 6,000 albums, okay? Some of them don't even make sense. I Listen, Madonna has... She has been around the world, okay? Madonna, she wants to be problematic at 97 years old, okay? And I, listen, she's had some health problems, so sending out, you know, prayers and all that to Madonna and things like that, okay? I had this friend of mine back in the day. He loved Chardonnay. Shot it. <laughs> oh, my God, I got ahead of myself. Now, I told this story before in videos, so you know it's the truth, okay? But I am a friend of mine back in the day. He loved Sade so much. I do love Sade. She's one of the best concerts I ever saw, you know? No ordinary love and all that kind of stuff. But anyway... I love Sade, too. I think she's gorgeous, right? Okay, so anyway, but I loved Madonna back in the day. And he said something and called her Mar... He goes, her name's not Madonna. It's Mardonna. And I go, it's not Mardonna. We got in this huge fight about it, right? Like, that's what you get in your fight fights about when you're in your early 20s. I, I said, it is not Mardonna. And he goes, it's Mardonna. I go, well, if it's Mardonna, then I'm going to start saying Sade. 
And so to this day, I say Chardonnay to him, and he says Mardana. But anyway, little inside joke. But listen, Mardana is 97 years old, okay? If she wants to be problematic, I think she is. Or no, I don't. Like, I don't support none of that problematic stuff of Roseanne or Mardana or none of them people, okay? But seriously, I don't know what. To, I don't even fuck keep up on that Mardana problematic stuff, okay? I just keep on listening to the music that she put out in 1987, because truth be told, after Holiday, there weren't really a whole lot of hits, okay? There just weren't. That's the truth, okay? I remember, hey, listen, I remember driving around in my mom's friend's car, okay? It was my mom and my mom's friend smoking Vincent Hedges Ultralights 100s in the front. Do you remember in the gold pack? I used to want to steal those so bad. Um, that's what my mom's best friend drove, and we were driving around in her Bronco way back in the day. And it was me, little 10 or 12 year old Peter Mott, and uh, her daughter and her daughter's best friend, and like a virgin, you know, was on the radio, and they were talking about how they wanted to get their tips colored blonde tips, I said, okay? Color blonde on their hair like Madonna and the like virgin. Do y'all remember all that? I might have been eight, maybe, or nine. I don't know. But anyway, do you remember that back in the day? Yeah, after like a virgin and holiday and Vogue and stuff like that, she kind of did that Ray of Sun or whatever. That was no good. It was no... I didn't understand that whole era of Madonna. I just really didn't, okay? There's been a few, there's been a few uh, bangers. Do we call them that these days? Is that a porn site? There's been a few vibes, a few hits. I'm trying to keep up with the kids, listen, okay? There's been a few hits through the years. There have, but not not much, you know? And not much. Dolly Parton, now she keeps on ripping them out, and I'm not talking farts, okay? She put, listen, Dolly Parton, she put a Christmas album out. Here, I'm going to pull it up for you right now. Dolly Parton, see here I have Madonna pulled up and everything I was listening to both. Let me pull up this Dolly Parton album for you. Okay, hold on a second. Artists. <laughs> This is when you know you're old. Here's what I get. Uh, I got Elton John, Britney Spears, Ellie Goulding, Ella Fitzgerald. Hold on a second. Ed Sheeran, EC Twins, Dua Lipa. She's problematic too, isn't she? Okay, hold on a second. Donna Summer, Don McLean, American Pie. Love that song. Oh, here it is. Dolly Parton. Okay, so Dolly Parton put out this Christmas album called The Holly Dolly Christmas. And you know what she put on there? Three songs from Smoky Mountain Christmas circa 1986. I'm dreaming of a Smoky Mountain Christmas. Now, I love that movie so much, okay? And I've been waiting since 1986. I used to put my tape cassette recorder out, and as that movie was playing on my VCR tape, I would tape the song so I could have them and I could listen to them. You can take the girl from the country, I have heard them say, but you cannot take the country from the girl. Beast. My neighbors walk across the eye. <sighs> okay, but anyway, I love Dolly Parton so much. Now let's get back to this Toddy Westbrook video. Okay, so she goes on, she talks about working out like, oh, her hair being lighter. Oh, she talks about Disneyland. She don't understand people's obsessions with going to Disneyland. Listen, I don't either, okay? Like I said, life is not a dress rehearsal, do you, okay? If you are 64 years old and your dream is to dress up like Minnie Mouse and wear those ears 16 times a year and you want to pay those outrageous prices for Disneyland, first of all, I went to Anaheim, okay? If you live in Anaheim, I'm already making an apology towards you, okay? But listen, Anaheim is like Kokomo, Indiana. <laughs> Kokomo, Indiana, and now I ain't talking about Kokomo and that song by the Beach Boys. Kokomo, Indiana is like three stop stoplights, um, a Chrysler factory, and a strip mall, okay? It's junky is what it is. Anaheim is junky. That is a junky-ass town, okay? And the, 25 cents in the cuss jar. And the only thing they got there is Disneyland. Which you literally could set Disneyland in the Magic Castle at Disney World, okay? If you're going to go, go to Disney World. Do it right. Don't be going to Disneyland. Disneyland, I know it was the original. I'm like, who cares? Who ca Go to Disney World. Disneyland junk. It's junk. And hey, listen, okay? Don't come for me and be like, well, I have to unsubscribe. People want to listen, okay? Y'all want to stand behind people. This is what I truly do not get, okay? Y'all will say, I will never unfollow Manny MUA. I don't care how many predators he'll support. But you'll unfollow me over an opinion over Disneyland or cats being aliens. Girl! You need to get off my channel so quick, okay? Don't leave your skin marks. And yes, I do mean in the bottom of your underpants, okay? Don't be leaving your skin marks by my door when you find your way out, okay? You want to stand by a predator, but you want to unfollow me over cats being aliens and an opinion about Disneyland? You know what? See your sweet ass out my door. I really don't care. You ain't for this channel, okay? 
But anyway, I feel Miss Tidy on this one, okay? I, I have friends of mine, and listen, I never say anything, but they want to show me 9 million pictures that I'm going to Disney World for the 15th time this year. I'm like, mm -hmm. I really, oh, you stayed for the fireworks. Oh, really? Five days in a row you stayed for the fireworks. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, yeah. You tried the Minnie Mouse ice cream. Was it good? Oh, not as good as the last four times. Girl, I don't care, okay? And you ain't got no kids. Your kids are 35 years old. You don't, listen, I don't care, okay? Enjoy what you want to enjoy. I like a good casino, okay? I like a good drag show or a drag pageant all day long, trust, okay? I know there are people out there that are probably like, Peter watches more drag pageants on, uh, on that Kalani Productions, which is my favorite YouTube channel of life. Go check them out. Peter watches more drag shows and drag pageants online than anybody I know, and he loves the slot machines. I do. I love the slot machines. I love a good true crime documentary, okay? But, girl, do not force my ass. And listen, my husband and I have talked about it because I have wanted to go to Disney World and stay at one of those big resorts and stay at the monorail. I Take the monorail. I haven't done that since I was about five years old. I've been wanting to do that, okay? And we've talked about maybe doing two days there or something like that. We thought it'd be real fun to go to the water park and all that kind of stuff. I went to the water park with my ex years ago, but and downtown Disney and all that kind of stuff. But I don't want to be spending a week there five times a year. None of them I am. Uh, I don't get it. I'm sure as hell not wearing none of them ears, okay? You can F them ears. <laughs> Th those ears are weirdly, okay? So anyway. <laughs> Woo! I just let Disneyland have it. And so many people are so upset with me in the comments. I can just feel it. I can feel the heat already. Woo! How long is this video? This video is already 45 minutes long. Okay. Then she goes on again, talks about having kids and regrets not doing them during Halo Beauty because that would have been a better time to do it. All kind of stuff. I ain't talking about that because she said she will not want to talk about it. Then she goes in this whole thing about listening to birds outside. And did you know that if you listen to birds outside or if you listen to the apps that have them, that it incre increases your pleasure zones by uh, eight times a day and or eight hours a day and things like that. And I'm thinking, well, I didn't know that, Miss Toddy. <laughs> I've heard of other things that increase your pleasure zones. <laughs> oh, I forgot she's a Christian. Anyway, uh, not for this channel then. But anyway, I just hit my leg so hard with that fan. That hurt so bad. Damn it. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting workers comp. I'm filing a workers comp claim against Miss Toddy. And I'm a, when I put it on the same. Miss Toddy workers comp claim. Hit myself with my beast fan. <laughs> Price of workers' comp claim, $45,000. <laughs> Enough to go to Disneyland. <laughs> Maybe I'll get me some of those ears and a, a, a Minnie Mouse ice cream cone. Okay. So then she goes on. She talks about how she don't keep her cell phone in her room anymore. This is another thing I like because I don't, listen, I don't pick up my phone when I go to bed for the night. I don't pick it up until I've asked myself. I've talked about this in enough videos. I ask myself, are you ready to start your day? I do my prayers, my meditations, and all that kind of stuff. And then I ask myself, sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I am. I addressed it in a video not too long ago, so we won't get into all that. But I love that. Then the last thing that she says is, should she do a, me a video where she addresses all the weird messages she gets? Not the weird comments, but the weird messages. And I was like, damn, girl, please, please do that video. Because I can't, okay? I cannot call out people because here is the thing, okay? Here is the thing. If you knew, and no, I am not talking about trolls, haters, and mean people, okay? I'm talking about people that are very, very nice, okay? That I know means they mean the world, okay? They truly do. I know. But if I listen, everything from SPF to iPads to Piata to DoorDash to how to water my plants, to reading glasses, to how to edit a video, to what foods I should be eating, to on and on and on. Girl, I can't even begin to tell you. To marriage counseling, to uh, daily affirmation books, to recovery, to everything, to hats, to t-shirts, to Whitney Houston, to everything in the entire world, okay? I get the weirdest messages from people that are so nice, okay? I know that they mean it from the bottom of their heart. I do, right? But if I read some of these messages to you, I'm telling you right now, I mean, y'all would be like, oh my lord, these people, you're talking about touching grass, okay? But I can't say nothing about it, and I just did. And I know now everybody's going to be like, they're going to send me a message, because ever since I have said something about trolls and haters, this is, the, this is every email, every message I get, the first line is, I hope you don't think I'm one of your crazy stalker haty, hater people, okay? I get that. I think it's so nice. I don't think you are. Trust me, I can spot them a mile away, okay? But that probably would be what I'd say if I was one of those people trying to get it. No, I'm joking. But anyway, so now I'm going to get all these messages and people will say, I hope you don't think I'm one of those weirdo, weirdo messages, but I just wanted to let you know that you can actually get those t-shirts of Whitney Houston. I'll be like, ah, you could have got 
watch a t-shirt for $1.99 instead of $14.99. I don't care. I don't care. And then they send me 15 links and I can't open all this kind of stuff. No. The messages are very, very nice. But listen, I get it. I get it, Toddy. Listen, she says one thing about a medical issue in a video and I'm sure she is just flooded with 9,000 comments of people sharing personal stories and telling them what she should do. I get it. I Trust me, I get it. I Listen, I said on my vlog, it's a true story. You can go fact check this. When I was going through the pancreatitis and I got out of the hospital and I already knew what it was about. I already knew why I had pancreatitis and I explained that it was because of the medicine that I was on for epilepsy and things like that and they were changing my medicine. I explained the whole thing, right? I think I even did a whole video over here. I cannot tell you that literally I got flooded with comments on my vlog that people would be like, well, did, do you think it's this? Could it be that? Could it be this? Could it be that? Could it... You are just walking back and forth and back and forth. We bought a paddle boat. Oh, you bought a paddle boat. So I had to go get money and beer. Uh, money and beer for the paddle boat. It, right? No watermelon and tahini. I don't have any watermelon. Alex would be very upset with you. Well, I'll get it <laughs> Have a good day. Okay. Tell your sister I said hi. Um, so anyway, I finally said on my vlog, I said, listen, I all, I know y'all are coming from some generous, nice places. Cause they did, they, they meant it from a very sweet place. Right. And they were just sharing stories of things they had gone through and they really wanted to be helpful to me. And I, and I appreciate that. And I understand that, but it's the same thing of when I say like, I want to lose weight. I mean, everybody has their own personal experience with this is the best diet in the entire world. And I'm like, um, okay. So now I have 25 different things of diets that I have and they're all conflicting and it's overwhelming to me. So I get it when it's something that's really personal and a medical issue that you don't want to be overwhelmed with messages. So she wasn't saying that to be a bitch. She was just saying like, you guys, it's a lot. Trust me, I'm making my own personal decisions and just respect that. So, but I wish she would read some of those messages. I think that would be a great video. I'd love for her to do that. Anyway, I don't want to do it because I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings, you know, but, but I don't think Toddy cares a whole lot about people's feelings. At least not James Charles. But anyway, and he did it at my birthday dinner too. I don't think she said two, did she? But you know what she did say? She didn't say sucking cock and balls. Anyway, I gotta go. I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.